Hi, this is Peter from Ultimate Marketing Strategies and today I'm taking a look at some on-page SEO WordPress plugins and doing a comparison. Now, uh, most of you will be familiar with SEO Presser. That's been around for quite a while and has been incredibly popular and a very good seller for Daniel Tan. Um, so we'll look at SEO Presser first and then we'll look at these other two, Clickbump SEO and Blogger High SEO. So first I'll, I'll just activate SEO Presser. Okay, now the f uh, SEO Presser has its own uh, sub-menu here in WordPress. So if we go into the settings, uh, we can set various things like SEO Presser can automatically uh, change your keyword to bold, italic and underline. And if you have an auto blog, you can give it a list of keywords and it will automatically go and put these decorations on them. Um, also, you can check all of the uh, posts and your pages score, so you've got a central way of looking at them. So here, I've got this uh, sample SEO article that I've taken off uh, eZine articles. And <coughs> at the moment, we can see its score is 53. Now, it's quite handy having this um, summary here. So if you've got lots of posts there, you can go through and you know quickly see what the scores are and what what you need to 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 change on them so if we go in and click on here to edit the article we can now see the the details so we can see our our score there our keyword density 2.13 which is which is good generally you have a like to have a keyword density between 2 and 4% and then there's various uh, suggestions here. Now one of the things that really bugs me about SEO Presser, and I know it bugs a lot of other people, is it always insists you don't have an H1 tag, when in actual fact that is an H1 tag there, it's just that the theme uh, generates that. So yeah, for people that like to see 100% there, they're never going to get it unless they add an additional H1 tag in the uh, the body of the text. Uh, and as you can see, it's got the usual things like uh, have have the H123 tags with your keyword and uh, an image with the alt tag and the keyword in the last sentence, etc. So, yeah, it's it's all fairly straightforward. Um, one, one thing I will point out is um, if you set SEO Presser to automatically bold keywords, what it does is when somebody views your page, SEO Presser will uh, process that page and add the, the bold, italic and underline, which means there is a processing overhead there unless you're using some type of caching. So that's, and, and if you ever disable SEO Presser, uh, the bold, those bold, italic and underline will disappear. So it is best to go and manually go in and, and do that yourself and uh, reduce, reduce that overhead. Okay, so that's SEO Presser. So I'll, I'll just deactivate that. Now recently I was made aware of this uh, plugin called Blogger High SEO. And essentially what it is, it's a, uh, a clone of SEO Presser, but it's a free rebrandable plugin. Um, the origins are a little mysterious on it. I, I did a bit of hunting around and as far as I can make out, it's um, created by the same person who's behind the Mask Guru. Uh, if you're familiar with them, they've been around online for quite some time. And uh, yeah, Blog High is just, just one of their sites. So what we'll do, I'll just go and activate them. Okay, so with uh, Blog High, the uh, settings are under the plugins menu. So if we go in there, and essentially the options here are the same as SEO Presser and uh, just just laid out slightly differently. Now should point out you always want to make sure that you have the hide attribution on otherwise you'll get an ugly link at the uh, bottom of the page uh, which has various links to the sites that Blogger High is associated with. Um, I mean I can see why they do that for a free free plugin but um, yeah, you don't want you don't want that on your site. Uh, now, in terms of uh, a central way of seeing the scores for all your pages, Blogger High doesn't have that facility. It works on per post or per page, 
So that's one difference to SEO Presser. So if we go in to the SEO article, um, and here we'll see, yeah, it gives us a score similar to the SEO Presser, although, you know, obviously it's got some slightly different weightings because here it's giving us a score of 60.94%, whereas SEO Presser gave us 53. So, I mean, some of these things here would have slightly different weightings compared to SEO Presser, but it's, you know, it's within a, a, a similar sort of um, a score. And again, yeah, all these things are pretty much the same, including you don't have an H1 tag there. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that, that's pretty much it for SEO uh, for Blogger High SEO. And you know, if you if you want a free version of SEO Presser, then yeah, that, that, that's a good option to go for. Okay, I'll just deactivate that. Now the last one, which is qu uh, probably the newest one on the block, is Clickbump SEO. And again, this is similar to SEO Presser. Yeah, it's it's been written, yeah, uh, from scratch. Um, I'm using the beta here just because it's uh, a newer. Th there is a, um, a an official release version. This one's just got a couple of extra features in which I was checking out. Uh, now with Clickbump SEO, it has its uh, menu under the settings menu here. And if we go in here, we can see one of the very useful features it has, or options, is to recognize that the theme generates a H1 heading. So if we tick that one on, it's, it knows that uh, your theme is creating this header here, and you know, can adjust the scores accordingly. And you know, it's got settings there for H2 headings, H3 headings, alt text, um, you can get it to no follow external links, uh, no follow cloaked internal links. Yeah, and you can also, um, if if you like different keyword densities, you can set custom figures here. It has a a range between one and four percent, which suits most people. But if you've got your own preferences, you can go and set that. Okay, so if we go back to the post page. We'll see here that uh, the Clickbump SEO plugin creates two extra columns here. One is a column for the actual keyword that you're checking against and the score. So similar to SEO Presser, just uh, presenting it in a different area in a slightly different format. But uh, if you've got lots of posts, yeah, that, that's very easy to see you know, which, which um, posts need a little bit more work on. So if we go in to edit the article you'll see that it's quite similar um, to what SEO Presser gives you and hopefully my slow internet connection will come to life in just a moment I'm just going to pause it okay I just had a, a minor outage here okay so now we here we are on the article itself and we'll see that um, gives you a thumbs up or a little um, warning or suggestion here so it gives you similar sort of things to um, you know what, what the other ones do you know, it tells you keyword density and here we can see you get the thumbs up for h1 heading as in the active theme and you know it's the usual things about having you know bold bolted um, keywords underline etc and all those sort of things. Now, it doesn't automatically um, bold, underline, or italicize your keyword, but that's actually a good thing because if you do it manually, it means if you remove the plugin, uh, those optimizations are still there, and also it doesn't have the overhead of processing the page and adding them in for you each time. So we'll see with um, Clickmap SEO, it gives us a score of 40. So that's a bit lower than what SEO Presser and uh, Blogger High are giving us. It's being a, a newer plugin. You know, it's 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 probably got yeah, you know, it's got slightly different weightings um, for the on-page SEO. And again, yeah, it will that they'll all give you an idea if you're really really need some improvement on your page or you know whether you 
you know, you pretty much got it there. Now, one thing I should point out with Click Pump SEO that the other two don't have is this handy Get LSI button. So if we click that, and if my internet connection's not too slow, what that will do is give us a list of uh, related keywords, which is quite handy when you're writing an article. Obviously, you want to make sure that your main keyword has um, you know, the keyword density is between about 2 and 4%, but it's also good to liberally sprink, sprinkle um, related keywords throughout the article because that's the sort of thing that, uh, that Google really likes. Now I'm just going to pause again while, uh, while my uh, internet connection wakes up again. Oh no, here we go. Okay, so, so here we go, SEO, and here's some related semantic keywords that we can use like search engines, you know, traffic, SEO services, etc, etc. So um, it's quite quite a handy little list to, to have there. You know, while you're you know, writing your article, you can just slip in a few of those as you're going along. Well, hopefully that gives you a useful overview of the three plugins. And uh, oh, I should mention uh, ClickPump SEO is about half the price of SEO Presser. So if you are going for a paid version, um, then yeah, I, I could definitely recommend ClickBump SEO because I, I think yeah, SEO Press was, was way overpriced for what it does. Um, ClickBump SEO, yeah, is 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 a reasonable price. You know, it's it's I think the plugin's a lot slicker and, and um, you know it's been developed and improved all the time. So um, that that would be my pick out of the paid ones and Blogger SEO if you, if you want to go down the free path. Okay, well, hopefully you found that information useful and uh, you can utilize one of the uh, plugins.